Hey guys, it's Katie. What's up? And welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello, how are you? In today's video, you guys, I am so excited because I am going to be testing out the new Tinkerbell collection from ColourPop. Anyone that knows me knows I love Disney and Tinkerbell. So if you want to see what came in the collection, how it swatches, how it goes on my face, then keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I bought the full collection, which retails for $85. I just checked, it is still in stock. You can also buy these products individually if you so choose to. The collection came with nine products. Those first three products are Super Shock Cheek products. It looks like there's two uh, blush shades and then more of a highlight shade. It came with a trio of Super Shock eyeshadows, two of the cream gel eyeliners, two glossy lip stains, and then the last product is the Nine Pan eyeshadow palette. So as you guys can see, I do have my face pretty much done right now, but I did leave my cheeks, my lips, and my eyes bare so that we can try everything on together. So before I actually get into the products, I really just want to touch on how stunning this outer packaging is. It really is beautiful, you guys. I'll show you the eyeshadow packaging. So this packaging is freaking stunning. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell there's a lot of texture on it. There's the metallic up here for the Tinkerbell and then everything that is shiny is more of a glitter and you can see some of the glossy sections as well. So this outer packaging is absolutely beautiful. I plan on keeping all of the packaging because it's freaking stunning. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into some swatches before I put anything on my face. So starting out with the Super Shock Cheek products, you guys, the components of these products are so stinking cute. And it does have um, an imprint of Tinkerbell on it. So stinking cute. So like I said, it did come with two cheek colors and then the third one looks more of like a highlight. So the first shade we have is Magic Moon. Really beautiful, uh, more peachy, natural looking blush. We also have Darling, which is a little deeper. Love to see this so that people with deeper skin tones can also benefit from this collection. And then the third one is called Happy Thoughts. Like I said, this is more, um, in my opinion, like a highlight. Okay, so here are the swatches from top to bottom. We have Magic Moon, Darling, and then Happy Thoughts. Here is more of a close-up. Very beautiful shades, and you guys, it is so buttery and creamy. I am very excited to play with them. Next up, I am going to go into the Super Shock eyeshadows, which again, we have three. So the first one is Fly to Your Heart. Um, kind of like a neutral champagne shade. Second one is Never Grow Up, a very beautiful, a very beautiful, more uh, bronzy brown color. And lastly, we do have this beautiful green. It is called Straight On To Morning. So here are the swatches. This one is Fly To Your Heart, Never Grow Up, and straight on till morning. Very beautiful pigments, if I do say so myself. Next up, we have the cream gel liner. So it does come with more of kind of bronzy metallic and then a deeper green. So here we have them swatched. The green shade is called Fly With Me and the bronzy one is called Lost Girl. I will say from a texture perspective, the bronze one is a lot softer. To be honest, they're both soft, but the bronze one is definitely a lot softer and I think more prone to breaking, so be careful. Next up are the glossy lip stains, I think they're called. So you can see the packaging, very stinking cute. 
This shade right here is Tinkerbell and the second one is Clap If You Believe. So here they are swatched. This pinky one is Tinkerbell. The more nude shade is Clap If You Believe. Really should have done that last because they do kind of leave faint stains on my hand. And last but not least is the eyeshadow palette. So stinking cute. So here are the swatches. So going from top to bottom, we have Second Star, Small Fairy, Big Magic, Tink, Pixie Dust, Neverland, Sleep, Place Between, and the formula of these shadows, you guys, I'm sure you already know, everyone always talks about ColourPop. Very smooth, very creamy. To be honest, I don't have a lot of experience with ColourPop shadows. It's something that I do want to grow in my makeup collection. I just have not done yet, um, which I do have another video after this all about ColourPop, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so that is everything swatched. I am going to zoom you guys in and we are going to <laughs> test it on my face. Okay, we are nice and zoomed in. Hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with cheeks first. I think I'm going to go in to the more peachy shade, which is called Magic Moon. It is quite beautiful. To be honest, you guys, I have not used these in a very long time. I honestly can't even remember how I should apply this. Um, I think I'm gonna take my damp uh, beauty sponge. So I have one here, it is dirty, sorry. Um, I'm gonna take the smaller end here. This is just a beauty sponge from Sephora. All right, some pigment, which I'm afraid I got too much, uh, but I guess we'll find out. Wow, look at that sheen, you guys. That is stunning. Whoo, baby. That is absolutely stunning. I don't know that I would use this every day because it is super glowy. Um, but she is, wow, she's beautiful. Okay. Why did I sleep on these products, you guys? Literally, my Super Shock Cheek products that I had were from five years ago. Didn't really touch them. They dried out. Oh my god, this is beautiful okay great start let's move on to the highlight so the highlight shade again is called happy thoughts i think i am going to try to take a brush this time um, mainly because that beauty sponge is very dirty okay so i'm going to try this brush it's the morphe jaclyn hill jh06 Oh, <laughs> do you guys see that? So pretty. Oh my god, why did I think these like would not be good? They are so beautiful. Wow. I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay. All right, the cheek products. Chef's kiss, 10 out of 10. Gorgeous. And just to give you guys a closer look at the packaging, you can see it's green. There are um, like micro glitters in this packaging. And then we do have a Tinkerbell on the front. Okay, so let me prime my eyes and guys, I don't even know what look I'm gonna do. <sighs> okay, now for the fun part. So again, here is the palette. And just to show you guys, there is a very cute little Tinkerbell here with the mirror. I think I'm gonna try to use these and maybe one of the Super Shock shadows. I don't think I'm feeling a green look today. I, I know it's Tinkerbell, I should do a green look, but I'm not feeling it. So, okay, I'm going to start out with Big Magic, which is just a neutral pinky shade. 
We're going to put this in the crease. Fun fact, you guys, Tinkerbell is actually my favorite Disney character. Growing up, my mom's nickname for me used to be Tink. She actually does still call me that. Um, when I was younger and still in school, when she would leave for work in the morning. And I want to clarify it. When I say younger, I mean like middle school, high school. She would always leave me a handwritten note in the morning for when I got up. And it would always say, Tank. Like that's what she called me. And she would always leave me little notes that said, I hope you have a good day. Remember to keep your chin up, stay positive. Um, you know, just a very mom thing to do. I'm sure you guys can't really see that, but in person that is a very beautiful shade. Um, very like natural looking shade. So I'm gonna do, I think a little bit of a colorful look. Um, I'm going to try to take this awake shade right here and put that in the outer corner and just kind of blend that up. And then I think I'm going to use these super shock shadows. Are you excited? Cause I am. Guys, these shadows are so easy to work with, which I already knew and I know everyone always says that, but they really are just stunning. I kind of want to play with this shade, but I'm worried it's going to look kind of Christmassy. <laughs> I think we're going to do it anyways, though. Sometimes looks don't always turn out, but we're going to try it anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is actually play with like the burgundy shade and then the champagne shade. So this is Fly to Your Heart. And I'm going to take that and put it in the inner corner and inner lid. Oh shit, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to like that because it's more of a... I feel like that's more of a glitter. Okay, so I just took off that super shock shadow on the inner lid really quickly. I didn't like that it was more of a glitter. So instead, for the inner lid, we're going to go into this golden shade, which is called Small Fairy. I feel like that's almost like a greeny gold, if that makes sense. I'm sure it doesn't, but... Now I'm going to go into the burgundy-ish super shock shadow in Never Grow Up. And I am going to try to pat this on the middle of my lid. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. I feel like this look isn't turning out how I wanted. I'm actually gonna cover up the gold. Sorry guys, I'm a mess. Ugh. I am not, not loving this, not, no fault of the shadows, just my creativity today. <sighs> I'm not liking this look. I'm too lazy to redo it though, so it just kind of is what it is at this point. All right, I'm going to go back into Small Fairy. I'm going to use this on the inner corner. You guys, I swear, like, I think I look like Father Christmas with this look because with the gold and then kind of the ratty and green, ugh, I don't like it. Okay, well, we're going to go back into this awake shade and I'm going to put that on the lower lid. Okay, so let me go ahead and put some eyeliner and mascara on and then we'll come back and do lips and I will close this video out for you guys. Okay, so mascara is on and I did use the green eyeliner in the waterline. Um, this is the one called Fly With Me. So like overall, <laughs> I don't love this look. I don't hate it, but... That's no fault of the product. That is truly just my own creativity. That's my fault. So I'm gonna move on. 
So moving on to the glossy lip stains, I'm going to use the one that is a little more neutral called Clap If You Believe. And I should have said earlier, I don't really detect um, a smell from these. Maybe kind of like a faint, kind of like makeup, very generic, like makeup-y smell. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, so the applicator, a very small doe foot, and I've never tried this formula, so we're gonna see how it works. Really pretty color. Uh, to be honest, this kind of tickled my lips when I was putting it on. I know that's so weird. Don't hate it, it's kind of a weird formula now that it's drying down. Don't know if I love it. Um, I'm gonna give it just a few minutes to see if I like it better, I guess. Okay, so let me zoom you guys out and we'll talk about final, final thoughts. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. Uh, quickly going through my thoughts of the collection. Love the Super Shock Cheek products. Wow, uh, I cannot wait to use them more. The texture, the way it looks on the skin, absolutely stunning. The palette, I do really love. ColourPop has a great formula, even though I am not super experienced with it. Very easy to work with, very easy to blend. I don't like my eyeshadow look, but that is no fault of the shadows. That is my fault, and just, I don't know, having a creativity block today, I guess. The Super Shock uh, eyeshadows, I think speak for themselves. I have used these in the past, absolutely love them. So easy to use and I really do think they are beautiful shades. The liners, I think I still need to form an opinion on. I put the green one in my waterline and I felt like it was actually really difficult to transfer. Uh, it was definitely the harder of the two as far as the formula and the colors go. The bronzy one was a lot softer, so maybe if I had used that one, it would have come off easier, but not super impressed just based on first impressions, which makes me sad because I've heard really amazing things about these. Maybe I just need to try different colors. And the lip products, um, so my lips have dried down just a little bit. Um, it's, it's comfortable. It does feel slightly sticky. I don't know. I, I think I'm just going to have to see how it wears, to be honest. So again, I don't really have an opinion on these. Honestly, I think I could probably do without them as far as the collection goes. If I were to get rid of any products, it would be the glossy lip stains and the eyeliners. Everything else in the collection I think is phenomenal and totally worth your money and your time if you wanted to grab them. Everything is still in stock. I did say that earlier in the video, just double checked. It is still in stock, so I will leave a link to ColourPop's page below that will take you directly to all of the Tinkerbell products. Um, but that's pretty much it, you guys. I love Tinkerbell, and I was super excited to do this video for you guys. If you did like it, then give it a big thumbs up for me because that lets me know what you want to watch, what you love watching, and what I will continue to make for you. And as always, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, whoever you are, wherever you are, if you're a guy, if you're a girl, I just appreciate that you took the time out of your day to watch this video. Um, it really means a lot to me. And here's your salesman pitch. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can become part of my little Jonesy fam here on YouTube. I am just your basic beauty addict where we talk about all things luxury, high-end, drugstore. We love all makeup. We will talk about it all. So if that sounds like your jam, then join the fam. Okay, guys, that was everything I had for you today. I will see you in my next one. Bye.